to Take It From The Iron Woman. My name is Susanne Müller, your host and the Iron Woman. This podcast is about empowering yourself and others to make real changes in the world. You will hear from everyday, smart, sophisticated, hip people like you and me. Not everybody has to be an Iron Woman to impress the world. Together, we will learn from the sports and business leaders how you can become a more successful person as an entrepreneur or a leader. It's one step at a time, one day at a time. Take your steps now, take your big steps now. Join me on this journey to success. Take it from the Iron Woman. We only have special guests. A special person that was brought to me. We have spoken to India Chanel before. She is the CEO of Black Light Community. She is a wonderful person with a lot of energy. Let's learn more from her and also how you can contribute, how you can be part of this. You mentioned light, right? So that's why your organization is called Black Light Community. Yes. And before we record it, we said, like, what do you need for your organization? For me, we, we are starting early. We officially made it a nonprofit and really worked towards our 501c3 January of 2020. So we're grassroots organization. We're babies. We really need the support as far as volunteers, as far as grants. I'm working really, really hard to find grant writers. I'm writing grants myself. We receive the micro grants, which are great, but we're, we're looking for things that are a bit bigger because it's so important that we showcase, we showcase our members in their most authentic light, in their best light and in their best moments. And one thing that we do provide are those masterclasses. So for example, next year, we really want to have, we want to hold a series of in-person and virtual masterclasses because we know the pandemic or the corn, it's still going, it's still an issue. It's still a thing. So we want to hold both for virtual and in-person. And in order for us to do that, we need the funds to, to make it happen. And we need the volunteers as far as the behind the scenes operations to keep the organization going. So if anyone one has a passion, both people of color and the allies. We are very welcoming of that. Our members were very slow going. We had 300 members on Facebook, mm -hmm. but once again, we're really trying to shift to be more of an interpersonal organization. And we're really wanting to get to know our members and understand really what they want and what they need. Uh, so we're, we're, really trying to create more of an intimate setting when it comes to the classes and also hiring on teachers that are of color that understands the assignment <laughs> that mm -hmm. that will be able to relate to these students because I know in any time I hold an interview an audition with my members or incoming artists I tell them I ask them I say tell me a time where you felt discriminated or you felt like you weren't welcomed And a lot of it starts at school and they don't even, and I don't think faculty members realize that it starts in school based on what you say to them, based on how you're trying to shape them. And one thing I've learned is that we all, we hold that and it affects our art. It affects our talent. And one thing that I, we really try to work on here at my organization is undoing all of those things and in, in starting over and understanding who you are I keep saying that word, but authentically who you are as a person so that your talent is as pure and as you as possible. And I think that's, I think it's very important to do that in order for you to, to really get your full potential as an artist. I like when you said the master classes are small. I mean, yes. if you want to work on somebody to get to their core and maybe not think about their fears or the obstacles that are in front of them. I think the smaller the group, the better so people can open up. Yeah, we, we had a series of mini masterclasses this past fall, and we did a session where it was, it was like MTP, which is music, musical theater performance class, but we had a vocal coach and an acting coach in the space. Mm -hmm. So with their song, we were able to break down both the, the, the lyrics and the acting along with the vocalises because it goes hand in hand. If you're choked up, if you're feeling tense within a song, it's usually the cycle. It, it can be the psychological aspect of what you're saying. It may be a blockage there for you. 
in in which you're you're tightening up or in which you can't even finish the song. And then of course the technical um, aspect of your vocals, you have the the vocal coach there as well. So that's just an example of what we like to do to bring that sense of interpersonal atmosphere, I guess is the word. I don't know. Um, But to bring that sense of, hey, I'm with you. We're here with you as a community. We want to make you better. 2022, we're opening up the doors. How does it look like for you? What is the wish list that you have and the magic wand? Yes. If I had the magic wand or the genie in a bottle, I would say, Mm -hmm. look, we need the funding. So in the beginning of the year, we're really going to be going after micro grants, going after the bigger grants as well, so that we can hold a series of masterclasses, both from from dance to singing to acting. So behind the scenes, because producers, stage managers, light board operators, they're artists too. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to do this. So we we opened it up for them as well. So we want to hold a wide range of masterclasses and keep that going, hopefully into the fall so that we can present. We Every year, uh, we hold a holiday concert. So we did one last year where it was only virtual. And this year, I'm sure it'll pass by the time the podcast air, but it's December 17th. And that's in person and virtual. But my goal is to, with those students that are in those classes, to present the work that they've done all year with us. And to essentially, essentially teach the audience who who we are as people, even maybe educate them. I know, for example, we have an artist in our holiday concert for this year, and she's part of, of the Latinx community. And she's singing two songs in Spanish, and she's also giving the audience an insight of what her culture looks like and what music and what art looks like in her culture. One of the most beautiful pieces that we have in the show. And that's essentially what I want to do. I want to entertain the masses while also educating in the in the most warm and welcoming way. That's hopefully, that's what we want for next year, to teach and to present. <laughs> essentially. Okay. Teach and presenting. So we wish you all the best of luck and we'll be behind you, we'll be helping you. And where can we find you? Yeah, so definitely visit our website. We are always accepting donations. Um, Just uh, head to www.blacklightcommunity.com. If you are on social media, we have Instagram. Our Instagram is at blacklightcommunity. Our Facebook is One Blacklight Society. And Twitter is blacklightcom. So blacklight and then C-O-M-M. I believe. So yeah, just follow us everywhere so that you guys, you all can get updated on what we're doing, how we're doing. We love interacting with our allies, with people that are just in support. And then we're also welcoming artists of color that really want to take their artistry to the next level and really tap into who they are as a, as a person in order to really share their talents authentically as they, as authentically as they can. That's us. We'll get there. We put it out there in the universe. We visualize it for 2022 and we just open up the door and it will come our way. Absolutely. Um, It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Thank you so much. This is exciting. What a lovely and inspirational talk with India Chanel. Black Light Community. Make sure you connect with them on Facebook, Instagram, On their website, they have masterclasses and they have concerts coming up. Many great things. Thank you so much, India Chanel, for having us and inspiring us. Take it from the Iron Woman. We have episodes every Monday, every Wednesday. There is something for everybody. You can participate. You can learn something new. You can grow. You can grow together. This is what I want for my podcast. And Take It From The Iron Woman is also a book. Download it or buy it. Take It From The Iron Woman, Global Business Coaching with Sports Parallels. Take care, be well, be happy, be safe.